morning guys diana here from garden love today i wanted to give you guys a garden tour of my front yard and i'm gonna do a separate video of my backyard because i'm afraid it'll be just way too long showing you guys what i have growing here in my edible landscape um my edible landscape is actually <laughs> kind of in disguise most people will look at it and not realize that most of the plants that i have growing here are edible and they're producing fruit of some sort so that's what i want to do and share you guys hopefully it gives you guys ideas to grow some edibles in your landscape and it can still look beautiful i know there's a misconception where people think that if you're growing edibles it doesn't look as pretty as a regular landscape i happen to think that my landscape looks pretty <laughs> and uh, also um, i'm very limited in space i don't have much space to grow in so i am trying to maximize my space by growing things in containers so a lot of my things are in containers and a lot of stuff are also in the ground the smaller stuff and that's what i'm going to show you guys give you a little tour and hopefully you guys are inspired and hopefully you guys can start growing one or a few of the things that i'm growing here in my front yard um if you do get any ideas please leave it in the comments down below if you're growing anything similar to me please leave me a comment down below i love to hear about what you guys have going on and what you guys are growing and i love to give ideas and get ideas okay so let's get started we're gonna start by the front of my house so as you can see here this is a wine barrel and i have tons of blueberries growing here tons of blueberries it's the season for the blueberries <laughs> so i'm very excited about that um this is not an edible it's just a japanese um, maple tree but i do have some seedlings here that i'm going to be putting in my edible landscape in the backyard this is my meyer lemon if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that this produced tons of meyer lemons considering that it's in a container and that it's um in a container <laughs> and it's not that old actually it's about four years old the tag said 2015 we're in 2019 so definitely about four years old and it produced tons and tons of lemons so i was happy about that i have some some fig cuttings that i took from a neighbor's house and they rooted and they're growing i also have this fig that got sent to me by ivy organic I thought it died, but as you can see, there is some life left in it, and it will probably be growing out here pretty soon. I have a strawberry patch right here, and I'm going to back up just so you can see what we're about to enter, the little jungle I have here. That's a Eureka lemon, and it was here when I purchased a home. Uh, I've been working really hard to get it to produce. As you can see, there is some lemons that are on the tree however it didn't produce nearly as much as my eureka lemon in a container and i'll show you guys that tree here pretty soon now this is my mexican key lime there's a few lessons that i've learned with this tree that i share with you guys in previous videos as you can see it's growing in a container it produced tons and tons of fruit this year and i just finished harvesting all the um the mexican key limes i also have a video for that and as you can see it's going into its new production is flowering like crazy and yeah my aloe vera and then i have ornamentals here as you can see lavender and a few other flowers to help um, attract the bees here's another mexican key lime this one still has a lemon here a lime and there's actually a few other left. See? But I tried to take out all the limes just a few days ago because I wanted this tree to focus on its new blooms and its new production. So let's go into this little jungle here that I call. I have these tears growing here and I'm growing some more strawberries as you can see. And then I have my passion fruit here growing like crazy and when i give you guys the backyard tour i'll show you what else is going on back there i do have a small little raised bed here where i have 
some herbs, some lemon balm. I have some, I did have, oh, I, here we go. I still have some basil. I have some cilantro growing there. I have some containers with fig cuttings. I have onions and garlic growing here. And this is, why can't I remember the name of this plant? I'm sure a lot of you guys know what it is. Uh, Ruda. Ruda is in Spanish. I'm not sure what the English name is for that. So that's what I have growing on, going on and growing here. Let's see. Then as we go over here, we have this amazing huge apple tree that I transplanted from someone's backyard. And a the transplant was successful it fruited apples last year and i'm hoping that it fruits more apples this year now that it's had a whole full year of getting established and as you can see the beautiful flowers here and some of these apples already look like they're set you see those apples right there so yeah that's an apple and then as we move over here, there's some projects that are waiting for me. I have my finger line that I have to transplant. Unfortunately, this apple tree, which is a four-in-one apple tree, died over the winter. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to be growing a cucumber right here and let it trellis along this tree and then eventually get rid of it. I have some lavender, some more aloe vera, and as we move to this side, we have a pink Eureka lemon that I'm going to be transplanting this season because this container, I'm pretty sure it's outgrown it. And I want it to get as big as this tree that we have over here. This is the kefir lime. If you guys aren't familiar, I highly suggest that you guys look it up. This tree is grown mainly for the leaves. The leaves are very... Um, have a lot of um, minerals and vitamins in the leaves. Uh, it has medicinal features in it. The limes are kind of like a little brain and wrinkly. Um, yeah, you can use it, but they're main, this tree is mainly grown for the leaf. So I highly suggest that you guys look into this. As you can see, I'm growing at Aspilaire because I'm limited in space. I couldn't afford to grow a tree that was round and bushy, so I had to grow it this way. Here is another Eureka lemon. Sometimes it's called lemonade lemon. And this is actually an air layer that I took from a neighbor's house. And um, it's growing fantastic. I'm very, very impressed. I have two of them because when I took this air layer, I didn't know how successful it was going to be and how long it was going to last for. Well, it definitely has lasted a long time. I'm super satisfied with it. I have two now, which is completely fine. I'm going to let this grow out bushy. And the other one, I'm going to let it grow out as spiller as well. As you can see, I have mint, some succulents, I'm propagating some succulents there. I have passion fruit cuttings here that's actually growing pretty well. I have to get this in the ground somewhere. And then I have some more passion fruit cuttings right here, as you can see. I trimmed my passion fruit and I just took the cuttings, put them in here, and some of them took, some of them didn't. As you can see, this one didn't. Here's another one. So I'm gonna be putting it in different spots in my landscape. Here's another blueberry bush. Let me step back so you guys can see an overview of what this looks like. This is my rosemary. I'm not sure. I don't. I think it's dead. <laughs> I'm gonna have to repot it, and hopefully, it comes back alive. I think there's still life in it. This is still green. It just it's not looking its best today. Let me move back over here so you guys can see an overview of this side. Sorry, my garden is a little messy today. But I've been waiting to do this video for quite some time and I haven't had the opportunity. I was hoping it would be sunnier, but it's okay. This is an apple tree. As you can see, I'm growing some nurstaceas. 
and put some more seeds over here. And over here is my pink waba that I'm growing in a container. Last year I had plenty of wabas. They were amazing and this year I'm hoping to get a larger production. I might have to trim it down to encourage some new growings all up in here. And then my most pride and joy, my pink, I mean actually not pink, my Eureka lemon that's growing in a container as an Aspilaire style. Um, there's a long story when it comes to this this tree and I do have a video all about it I won't share it with you guys right now because it might be just way too long but as you can see this is half of the production that it gave me this year this tree um, I've been picking lemons for weeks now from this tree as I need them and it had double the amount of lemons that this tree has as you can see it's in a container it's growing a lot um, I was growing a lot more lemons than the one in the ground that's right behind me and it's just started flowering and it's about to start producing some more lemons so what I'm gonna do is start taking some more of these lemons to help the tree concentrate in the new lemon production and as we continue to move forward in the front of my house I have some kumquats this year I didn't take them all off I just been eating them as I go as you can see there's still some left and I'm about to have to take all the lemons off this tree again because there is new growth coming and pretty soon there's going to be new um, flowers and I want the tree to focus on that so we have a bountiful harvest and as you can see there's another kumquat tree here and there's still kumquats to pick see that they're so delicious. I notice that the longer you leave them on the tree, the sweeter they are. And then I have a row of flowers here, of roses, white roses. Aren't those beautiful? Let me show you guys. Look at this. Here's another view of what my lemon Eureka looks in a container. I have another aloe vera growing right there. And then I have my pink guava. I'm sorry, pineapple guava. I'm thinking pink because the flowers are very beautiful. Oh my god, I just noticed this, guys. There's a baby hummingbird nest there. Oh, there's an egg. Oh my god. I never knew that was there. Holy moly. Wow. This is so exciting. I'm, I love the hummingbirds coming by into my garden and they're usually visiting me all the time. They absolutely love my garden and I love having them there. I had no idea this awesome little egg nest, I mean hummingbird nest was there. So excited guys. Let me move on because this this video is going to be long and I, mean, I can talk about the little birdie nest forever. Here is my um, Clemente little oranges. It's producing like crazy now. I realize that these are not tasty in my opinion at all. And then I did some research. Apparently you can use these kind of like limes. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Just squeezing them as when I cook my salmon or any other dishes that require a citrus taste and just start taking them out because as you can see it's definitely blooming season and it's growing like crazy so yes guys so as you can see I have an edible landscape <clears throat> that doesn't quite look like an edible landscape it's more like ornamental plants growing in my yard and I don't think many people can tell other than that lemon tree that one I've seen many homes that have a big bush in this entryway that have the same model as our house and the best thing is that I'm growing wabas in this <laughs> bush and it's amazing I love the foliage look at how pretty that is it's amazing guys and then I have my jasmine growing here jasmine growing all along my courtyard 
I have my banana succulents that are so prolific. They continue to grow like crazy. I take cuttings and put them in other pots and they just go wild. So these are some of the um, some of the succulents that I t sometimes give away to my subscribers or friends. And um, I'm hoping to get the nasturtium to completely fill this area. I put some seeds to see if they would... Um, they would germinate. I wasn't sure because of this tree. Most of this area is used to buy my birch tree's roots. So I just gave it a try. Now that I know that they are popping up, I'm going to add some more seeds so this can get completely full like this did. I also put some in this container. Hopefully this can overflow and they could look pretty. Maybe I'll put it there. I have a huge project waiting for me. I'm not sure what I want to put here. At first I wanted to put all my strawberries. Then I thought maybe I should put some greens like cilantro. Maybe I could put some nasturtium overflowing. I'm not sure guys. I have a lot of ideas and not until I feel that it's 100% right. I don't move on them. So for now I still have ideas that I'm waiting to decide on. <laughs> and as you can see this is overgrowing I did have a fairy garden right here but um, I'm gonna have to clean it up or maybe now that I'm working more on my backyard I'm gonna move the succulents to the backyard and I have a beautiful rose bush right next to my apple tree and as you can see the passion fruit is growing over this um, this trellis uh, my husband and I built for it and I'm hoping that it can get filled up so there's a little bit more privacy in this garden and it can be a more um, exclusive <laughs> garden and more privacy to be able to come out here all right guys well now that i'm done showing you guys what my edible landscape looks like in the front of my house i'm going to move to the back so stay tuned for part two and hopefully this gives you guys some ideas i'm not sure if i mentioned this tree this is my blood orange tree and it's super slow growing um over the last year it used to be right here and it's gone another foot and it completely filled up this little trellis finally. <laughs> I only saw one flower this season. I'm not sure how many times this tree flowers, but only one flower. And I don't expect it to actually produce a fruit out of it, but um, it might surprise me. All right, guys, I do have some roses here. These are amazing. I love them. There's another rose bush here that I absolutely love of roses. They're like a baby pink, almost whitish. And I was told by a subscriber last year that this type of flower is called Diana Rose. Um, it's named after the Princess Diana. <laughs> oh, and there's going to be some coming over. So I can't wait to show you guys when that flower pops up. It's actually in a very, very old video that I posted about a year ago. If you guys want to look it up. Anyways, guys, like I mentioned, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you guys some ideas. I hope that you guys can grow one of the trees that I'm growing here in my courtyard. As you can see, I'm growing them in containers. They're producing tons of fruit, even more than this one that's in the ground. It's just a give and take, and you just got to try things out and figure what works best in containers, what works best in the ground. And that's it, guys. Alright guys, you guys have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully you guys can see part two. Bye-bye.